How do you feel about doing poor man's covered calls with ETFs? I have no problem doing the poor man's covered call with ETFs. The thing is, because their volatility is low, right? Because they follow indexes, depending on the ETF, obviously, their volatility is low. So their premiums are going to be low as well, because that's a factor that, you know, the, the value of an option is its intrinsic value and its extrinsic value. The big one being extrinsic value, you know, that time decay and implied volatility, those two things working together. So when you have that ETF, there's not a lot of implied volatility. So a lot of the time, it's not really worth it. And I'll give you an example. Everyone talks about the spy wheel. They have options every three days. It's like the holy grail of the wheel. And I fell into it. And then when I finally had the 40K, I finally had the money and I was like, I'm going to do the spy wheel because I am the coolest man in the world. I don't know if you have, I have a discord chat, you know, I need the spy wheel. I'm going to make a YouTube video. It's going to be dope. And then I like looked at it and the returns weren't good. Like I looked at the premiums. I kind of like saw like what I was going to do. And everything is about like that return on investment. I'm like, I'm going to be putting in 40K to make as much in premium as I could with investing 10K. So I didn't do it. And I think the the large part of that, and SPY actually has a high volatility when it comes to ETFs, especially those broad-based indexes. So I'm not against it. I'm not. I'm more a fan of wheeling them, I think. I have hundreds of shares of VTI. I'll wheel the shit out of those. I don't care about that. But I don't think I'm ever going to really... Because ETFs are like my long-term holdings. Maybe that's another thing too. Like my ego is like, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna trade options with all the risky YOLO young kids, I want to use risky YOLO stocks too. And if if I'm an index fund investor and I come on and talk about how my whole retirement ninety per six ninety six percent of my net worth is in index funds, and then I'm like, but don't worry, I trade options with ETFs as well. <laughs> like I don't know, it would just make me feel like a loser. And deep down inside, I'm self-conscious about being the loser. So long story short, if those, if that's what you want to buy and do them with, go for it. If you would have started a poor man's covered call with Spy seven months ago, you'd be raking right now. So I'm not going to lie. I That's fine. I, I have no problem doing it. It probably wouldn't be a great idea to do something with um, a ton of dividends, right? If we want dividends, we're not going to really trade poor man's covered calls with dividend stocks because we're not going to get the dividends. And if you're not going to get the dividends and it's a dividend stock and that's the benefit of owning that stock, then you probably shouldn't call that. But yeah, that's how it is.